Okay, so who doesn't have a bunch of this beads on a string? You know what I'm saying? So let's... This one's a little rough around the edges, but that's okay. Let's get this one started. And I'll probably put a little bit of lace on the bottom. Or I'll put it on a, a, a doily or something like that. Now I'm uh, gluing right across the bottom, but it'll get quicker once we get past this area. And I'm just using whatever contour that is, because some of some of these, because they're antiques, they're not. Well, and they weren't made to not get, you know, damaged on the bottoms. All right. Okay, so now we're going to just work it so that you got it naturally running all right so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a couple dots for this first row you don't want to do too much glue because then you can't get these to fit too close if the glue dries. You know what I'm saying? And if you don't want the underneath to show because you're not going to get these right on top of each other, then you're going to want to glue, I mean to uh, paint these. But just put a dot every couple inches and stretch not stretch but you know um, just keep if you that's not going to want to stay there so let's Okay, that see that's fighting me. This is because I put way too much glue right at the very beginning, and so it's not wanting to you know get up nice and close. So I'd say let's do it about every inch. Uh, because they were sagging and I don't want them loose so about every inch put you a little drop of glue there we go so guys just like before see so just like before, I'm going to get off, I'm going to get it up to the top, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, so when you get to a point that you need to add a string again, you want to make sure that you get this final bead down where it's going to be uh, easy to butt up. And I'm going to put right where I'm going to put that very first bead and then like where I'm going to put the next couple of beads. I just want to be able to have it catch, hold, and line up just where I want it. And then let that dry for a minute before you start again or you'll pull it away 
from the first bead that you, um, you know, from the last bead of the last strand to the first bead. You don't want to pull that away, so you got to let it dry for a smidge uh, before you do it. And since I have you guys on here, I've been finding that going about every half inch with a little, uh, just a little teeny dollop of glue. And I tell you, this, this is a good glue gun. Uh, you get to choose how fast you want it to come out. Um, there's different... There's different uh, nozzles for it. I am enjoying this. Um, I've owned this for eons, but, um, you know, all I could remember is that it felt like it was always so cumbersome. But the amount of control you have of the glue is really, I tell you, just really nice. Really nice. So, but I don't know if they sell these anymore. I mean, like I said, this one is probably 25 years old. And now I'm getting up close to the edge of the tree. And uh, I don't want to burn myself. <laughs> Imagine that. I don't want to burn myself. Ah! So these, I mean, just imagine, guys, these both together, uh, you know, somewhere. Uh, then I have this, which is going to be exciting, and this, and I have these. Now, this is a totally different kind. Everything that I've been making so much, you know, up until now is like elegant, maybe even shabby chic. Not that I'm a shabby chic girl, but uh, the, these could definitely, you know, go into the natural or shabby chic uh type of decor for sure not that I'm super knowledgeable about <laughs> about home decor but I know what I like and uh, so you know these are the things that I was thinking I would want so yeah yeah It has been, oh, last, um, no, this afternoon, okay, not this afternoon, yesterday, um, my husband and I went to Lowe's, no, day before yesterday, went to Lowe's and um, Kroger, um, I want to say we went somewhere else, well, I needed a dishwasher, oh, I hate spending the money on a stinking dishwasher but my husband said you know with this COVID stuff we like to sanitize and and I know it is better to have a dishwasher because sometimes the dishes get stuck in the sink because neither one of us want to do them and um, my husband since me taking over the Etsy shop my husband's kind of taken over doing the dishes and uh, which is really God love him, um, but I, I still do them, and uh, but you know he he does most of that, and he does all the grocery shopping. Oh, love it. <laughs> so, okay, so here we're gonna have to change again. So I'm gonna make sure that I'm gonna get this last bead in the strand, um, in a good place and dry. So we're going to hold it for a smidge. Just a smidge! I love that word. Oh, and what's the other one? Um, oh gosh, I love... There, there's quite a few words I love, but... Uh, shenanigans. I will have none of that. those shenanigans around here, guys. None. Do not. I used to tell my boys that all the time. And their, their friends would go, shenanigans? You know? <laughs> ah, 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 ah. What, what's your mom talking about? What's shenanigans? But, you know, my husband, uh, his family is Irish. And I guess that was, and maybe that's who I'm hearing that word from, you know, more when I, back, back in the day. 
because uh, his his mom and dad were still around, and so yeah, um, I used to use that word quite a bit. See now, I went too quickly, and it started to loosen up. If you get a little build up, you you know of the uh, the little threads, or if it squirts out a little bit too much, um, or if you miss a spot and it moves around more than you like, um, just either dig out some of the glue, add some glue. See now I have, I totally pulled that away just like I had told you guys not to do. So now I'm going back and I'm going to pull this glue because I don't want to have a build up of glue that I want I want to be gluing directly onto the the cone I don't want to glue on top of glue so you just gotta take a second and get that glue off of there alright so let's try this again and I need to be a little more patient with it you also don't want it on the beads so make sure that you're pulling it you know, if you got, uh, if you have to pull it up, make sure you're pulling the glue off the bead as well, if you can. See, I thought I had it all off, but I found a piece that I didn't. And these, of course, are plastic beads, so they're really fairly easy to get the glue off. big buildup of glue. See, if you get a big buildup of glue, you're going to end up with the beads coming away from the surface. And that's one of the things that's so pretty about it is that there's no, you know, there's no undulations, there's no waviness or hills and valleys. Um, with the beads. So you definitely, you know, if you want that, then just leave your little buildup of glue. And don't worry about it. You know, if you want that, and that's fine. Good golly, Miss Molly, you can do it any way you want. You can even go from top to bottom if you'd like, which would be very pretty. Uh, I don't know that it'd be any more time-consuming um, because having to do this every... Got a little build-up on that one. Uh you know, every half inch is is a little bit more labor intensive than I was hoping for, but I'm much happier with my product at this point with that. And I put my glue, my finger, my pinky right on that glue. All right. Okay, so... I'm going to go ahead and finish this one up. I'm just going to carry it up to the top. I don't think I'm going to do anything else on this one unless I come across something that I might stick. Because this is such a large hole right here. I'm just going to do the best I can rolling it around there. And uh, when I come back, I'll show you how I finished it off. And um, then I'm going to do one of the other trees. Um, I'm not going to do another one that's wrapped because you see how that's done. So um, maybe I'll do the pom-pom ball one. And I mean, these aren't hard. And I know I'm, you know, some of you guys are going, really? You're showing us how to do that? <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> I am, I am. So, I don't know, you guys. It was mainly, ha, ah, I got to get this done, and I'm crafting, and I, I, I don't hate crafting by myself, but it's, crafting by yourself is just not that fun. It's just not all the time, you know? 
uh, compared to sitting with somebody that they might not be working on the same craft, but they're crafting. You know them. Oh, that came loose. Get that back up there. You know them, so you're, you know, you're, uh, you're chatting with them and having fun, just, just like what you, you and I are doing. And when you guys leave me comments, it's like you're, you know, chatting back to me. So, and uh, don't forget now I have a giveaway, and I'm, I'm gonna cut that off fairly quickly. So. Uh, it is the video where I finish up my cards and I've been collecting things and it's going to be a fairly nice little mini giveaway. So, I am sorry. So, um, go and, and watch and see what you need to do for that. Thank you very much if you've already done it. Um... Yeah, I just love you guys. I wish I could send everybody something. I really do. That would be really, really nice. But I would have had to start that January. <laughs> ah, ah. Yeah, I'm going to do that all year and have something for everyone. And then afford to mail it to you. Ooh, yeah. But, I can try and, and, and do what I can. So, uh, I, um, my husband and I had my son over for his birthday celebration. Now, his birthday was on the 4th, but we had him over last night because he was working and, and his, um, fiance couldn't come over, Megan, um, because she was working on some of the other nights that we could do it. So this was last uh, last night we had him over. And um, we had such a nice time. And, of course, I did have him <laughs> fix my computer. But uh, other than that, we just, you know, he got to pick what was on TV. Just like if it was really his birthday. So he, we spent most of the morning and afternoon together. It was super fun. Um, and we had a conversation with them that, uh, you know, we knew that they were kind of looking around at venues and things like that, that they had started doing that. They have not come up with a date, but I think they're kind of trying to find a venue and then work on the date. I've got, I've got things just flying around me. I'm sorry. Um, so my husband and I had talked about it and said, you know, Everything is so expensive these days, and we've we're on ten acres, and we've got a gorgeous front yard. So we told them that if they wanted to have the party, the after party, or the ceremony and the after party on the grounds here, that they could do it. And of course, in my head, I'm going, "Oh my God, I'm going to have to do so much stuff," which is fine, but it's like. Wow, I'm going to have to do so much stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I just, you know, I'm, we're, we're there, you know, it's like kids these days just don't know what it takes to say, I mean, they're so used to just getting by. You know, oh, I get paid tomorrow. That's all right. It's like, oh, my God. But I guess it's too, it's, we were like that. I, my husband and I were like that when we first got married. Um, we lived there for a while, paycheck to paycheck. But he had a very good job. He worked for the railroad um, for 22 years. And then, you know, he moved on from there. But he got... Uh, in into you know a, a good line of work that he was, uh, you know we we didn't we didn't do too bad but there at the very beginning it was tough, um, it was you know and it just always is and my husband's like oh my gosh they don't have anything they, I said she's got furniture, Michael's got furniture Michael's got a house, 
Um, they both have their cars. Uh, you know, I said they, they're doing fine. Neither one of them have any big bills. So oh, he's just, he's a worry wart. Worry, worry, worry. So, yeah, but, um, so that, we don't know if they're going to take us up on it, but she certainly did have a big smile and looked at my son like, uh, you know, like, oh, I don't know. So I don't know if they had discussed it and, and they just didn't want to broach the conversation with us, the topic <laughs> or what, but, uh, yeah, so. Yeah, so I might be saying, okay, guys, help me out here. What do I need to do? Give me some hints. <laughs> but not yet, because I don't know if they're going to do it. So don't, you know, don't start sending me stuff just yet. <laughs> and I'll have to find out her colors and all that if we're going to do that. But if we are, then I will have you guys help me figure out, you know, I because Obviously, anything that I figure out would have to get approval from her, and I would definitely listen uh, to what she wanted because it's her day. So, I feel so sorry for these uh, these young ladies who, you know, don't, it doesn't turn into being their day. It's somebody else's. Um, or it, they don't have the money to do it the way they'd love to do it. And I know I didn't, I was surprised how much money my parents spent on our wedding, but I worked at a florist. So, um, most of, most of my high school, you know, as soon as I was old enough to work, so most of my high school and then... Uh, college, I uh, worked at a florist, and I was not a designer, but I was learning how to do that stuff. They would have me do like the FTDs, little funky things, and but I made corsages and boutonnieres and kept the front going, prepped all the flowers. So I learned a lot uh, of of you know that kind of thing and. Um, I was part of the crew that would go and decorate people's homes. They would literally pay you to come and get their Christmas down. Well, they would get somebody to get it down, I think, most of the time. Um, and, yeah, I would go and decorate their houses with what they had. And then we would also augment it, ha, so it made money um, with the things that we'd have in the shop. It was a cool job very cool job. I would recommend it to anybody. Um, but, you know, you work a lot of holidays. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, what retail position do you not work a lot of holidays? So, you can see here I've got a, kind of a broken top. And I'm just going to try and... wrap this around the best I can but I'm going to give everything a little bit more time oh this is all knotted up oh good there we go I'm going to give it a little bit more time to dry as we get up into this area so that I can make it look as pretty as possible because like I said I don't know what if anything I'm going to put up here Just put a little bit of glue right on top of the beads that are already there on the lower row. OK. 
Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I got quiet all of a sudden. So yeah, so we're going to be... I'm anxious to find out when they want to do their wedding, but other than that, you know, I'm just going to let them do their thing and tell me when they're ready. Uh, you know, it's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. So... I don't know if I'm going to like this without something there. But I can always come back and put something there. I just want to get it built. Boy, I have done some rough things with my fingernails. And I tell you, this nail polish stuff is, is pretty good stuff because I've had that Fabri-Tac all over it. And any other of my glue uh, nail polish would have just been sucked off of there. Well, that didn't work very well. There we go. Okay. I am going to cut that off right there. And I'm sure I will find something. Isn't that just adorable, though? I love it. Love it. All right, guys. I am going to go take a little bit of a break. And I think my dogs need to go out. What else is new, right? <laughs> oh, I wish I could have found the stand for this. Driving me nuts. Okay. So I'll see you back. Love you guys. Next time we'll go through some goodies, some new stuff. And I got so much to do. It's we're gonna hit a lot. Bye. Sure wish I had a better way of doing that so you guys didn't see me all funky. <laughs> hey, but you know, that's kind of the way I am, so <laughs> you're just getting me all natural here, people. <laughs> just all natural. Okay, um, I am going to do, I'm looking for my little spatula. I am going to do this material on my larger tree, and I'm going to use glue all. Now, you can use Fabri-Tac. You can use the hot glue gun, um, which, by the way, bad girl, I left it on all night. Don't tell my husband. <laughs> no affair texting him and telling him that I left it on all night bad. <laughs> bad. I am bad. So I'm just going to get some glue on here. As a matter of fact, let me let that go down just a little bit. I am going to do it this way or we'll be here all day. I'm going to move this for a moment and I'm going to pour some of this on. These spatulas are wonderful for this. Just wonderful. So. I'm 
going to get a good start on here. I want to get it all the way down. Okay, so there is... Wipe that off. There is that. Now, I know kind of what I want in the front. And this is not the front because it's got a damaged piece on it. So I am choosing where I want this to sit. And then I'm going to wrap onto the glue. Now, this is a nine and a quarter inch uh, cone, and I've got about a 13 inch uh, square piece of material. I got this at Joann's the other day. My husband and I went to Ashland, and I saw this material, and I had to have it. It's just so beautiful. This, this to me, is just like what my house is like. I've got cardinals, bunny rabbits, deer, and pine trees just everywhere. So, you know, it's it's it just spoke to me, so I had to have it. Okay, so I've got it started. Now we're going to just finish it up. See, these are so quick and easy to do, guys. So quick and easy. Let's get that all the way. A part of it's fallen off. That's okay. We'll stick it back on. This stuff does not dry real quick. And make sure I'm staying in camera. That really helps. See, isn't this the spatula just makes it so much easier. <laughs> ah, and I'm not getting glue all over my hands. I love it. Okay, and then we also want to make sure that we've got the top done. Okay, so lay this back down and I'm going to bring this over the top and I'm going to continue rolling. Let's see. I'm going to cut off the excess here. Well, I know I'm not going to need this. Let's see how that works. It's been a while since I've done th this. And I couldn't remember. I knew I needed to probably start with a circle, but, you know, I don't, I don't do circles very well. <laughs> I just don't. So I just figured we'll start with a square, and just like me, and we'll go from there. Okay, and then I'm going to continue, let's tuck that down in there, continue around, oh that is so pretty, I just love this fabric, I just love it, it's like my home on material, <laughs> I swear, okay, yeah we want that to lay down, so you're going to have to work the tip a little bit, and this is actually excess, so I am going to cut off the majority of this. Let's see, don't cut my thing. All right, and I will use a bit of Fabri-Tac when I'm tacking the fabric to fabric just for giggles just for giggles all right pull that down and over and that down okay so I need some glue here
just trying to work out where I'm going to have a nice top. I don't want to have a real messy top, but we need to make sure that everything is going to be real pretty. Okay, then this is excess here. We won't need this. And believe me, this fabric is not going to go to waste. See, I think I can cut this right about here. Go up this way. All right. Now let's get this down and pretty looking. Let me just get some fabric tack up into this little hole here. Okay. So I'm going to pull that. There we go. Okay. Now, let's finish the glue. Oops, don't go too high. You want to make sure you're getting it so you're not going to have any bubbles. And if, you, if you're if you fast enough and you've got this material down better than I did, you can definitely glue the whole thing, wrap it in one fell swoop. But I like to make sure I'm getting everything, you know, my corners done nicely and stuff. So I don't do that. Some people do because they do it a lot more than I do. And, you know, but this is really super easy, super quick. And I'm going to do some more things with this fabric. So I will try and bring you along for the ride with all of it. Okay. So I am going to cut more of this down. And bring this over. Let's make sure I don't have any wrinkles. Good. And then let's just roll. Very nice. I love it. Isn't that just gorgeous? And this is what I wanted for my front. Okay, so now I'm going to use a little fabric tack to actually tack the edge down. Get up underneath. There we go. Okay. And just do it in little bits so that you're getting everything nice and smooth. Oh, I love it. Now I'm going to cut off a little bit down below here. Leave myself about an inch, give or take a smidge. Is that favorite word of mine? <laughs> and guys, I think I'm going to try and do a Christmas snippet roll. I just did a snippet exchange swap on uh, my um, Facebook group. And boy, did they end up with some lovely things. 
but uh, I thought that wasn't all the way glued down nice and smoothly. But I thought, you know, it would be nice to kind of follow that up with um, with actually doing a snippet roll. So I might do a Christmas snippet roll if I, if I get time. Um, and so now I am just spreading some glue on the inside. And I'm going to... Oop, I'm going to let it get tacky while I cut into the fabric so that it'll hold. And then you're just going to cut up to the cone so that we can get the fabric around. Oh, I love a good pair of fabric shears. <laughs> okay, and then we're just going to push it into the glue. Now, this is a double layer, so I am going to take a little bit of Fabri-Tac. And I think I'll take some and put it around on the very outside bottom edge just to help crisp that up a little bit too okay there we go and I'm sure we will have some little bits and pieces that will need to be glued down but for the most part this will take care of all of that Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Now, we have our three trees that I'm using for my centerpiece. And I love them together. Just love them together. Yes! Okay, next, we are going to make the wreath. And I'm going to give you some homework. If I can find the wreath again. What I do with you? Oh, here it is. Had it hung up. Uh, again, this was um, this was a Dollar Tree wreath. It's a nine inch in diameter wreath. Um, and we're going to make a um, smaller paper bag wreath. Uh, oh, here it is. Ooh, lots of glue on my table now. Um, and the paper bag wreath uses paper bags, duh. So let me show you. Throughout the year, and oh, and I, I did take, now this is on my Facebook group, my free download for my music sheet, and I put um, it on both sides. So I did two of those, eight and a half by 11. Um, the, I saved brown paper sacks. I saved white sacks. So you can do whatever color sack you want, um, but you're going to need... So for the larger wreaths, the door wreaths, I usually use four inch squares. Um, and I will show you one of those when we start that video. But So you're going to have to grab paper bags and you're going to make probably two and a half inch squares for this. Um, for this size, I think, I think that's maybe a good, I might go to, I don't know. So don't cut a whole lot. Um, but I think two and a half is probably going to, is probably going to be just right. Um, and you're going to want to have your brown paper sacks. You're going to want to have, if you have material, you're going to want to have uh, two and a half inch square material. If you want to put some music paper in, you can do that. And then um, gather some lace pieces that you may have. Now, if you don't have four, I mean, two and a half inch lace pieces, glue them together. If you've got a bunch of scraps, this is a great way to use up your scraps. So just get your Fabri-Tac out or your sewing machine and get them, you know, put them all together. So we might, we might play around with that a little bit too. 
Okay, so that's it, guys. And you'll need your hot glue gun. Um, and, you know, if you, if you have a little pink finger uh, or, you know, something like that. So, um, oh, and you're going to need... I don't know if you need it, but I usually always wrap this with burlap or um, or ribbon. So if you have some ribbon that you, you just know that you're not ever going to use. Um, because it just gives me a better surface to attach this to. So I uh, use the hot glue gun. But we'll go through all of that. I just want you to gather your supplies. Get it all ready. Because we're going to do this next. Alright guys. Mwah! Love you so much. Thanks for joining me. And I hope that you are going to make a beautiful Christmas tree table topper too. Love you. Bye.